In this video, we're going to go over the concept known as the inverse square law. You're probably wondering, what is this? What is the inverse square law? We're going to use a light bulb to illustrate this example. The intensity generated by a light bulb depends on the power of the light bulb that's emitted and also the distance at which you're measuring the intensity from the light bulb. The intensity is equal to the power divided by 4 pi r squared, where r is the distance between a point of interest and the light bulb. So let's say at a distance of 1 meter, the intensity is 360 watts per square meter. What's going to happen if you double the distance? What will be the intensity of the light source 2 meters away from the light source? Looking at this equation, we could see the relationship between intensity and distance. In this case, distance is r. The intensity is inversely related to the square of the distance. To find out what's going to happen if we double the distance, we need to plug in a 2 into this expression. So it becomes 1 over 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. So now we have 1 over 4. So what this means is that when you double the distance, the intensity of the light source at that new point will be one-fourth of what it was before. So at a distance of 1 meter, the intensity is 360 watts per square meter. At a distance of 2 meters, it's going to be one-fourth of that, which is 90 watts per square meter. Now what about 3 meters away? What will be the intensity? If we plug in a 3 into that expression, this is going to be 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 9. So it's going to be 9 times less than 360. So 360 divided by 9. 36 divided by 9 is 4. Add the 0, we get 40. So the intensity will be 40 watts per square meter. So to summarize, if you double the distance, the intensity will reduce by a factor of 4. If you triple the distance, it will reduce by a factor of 9. If you quadruple the distance, 4 squared is 16, it's going to reduce by a factor of 16. So that's the basic idea behind the inverse square law. Here's a word problem for you. The intensity of light is 800 watts per square meter at 4 meters away from the source. What is the intensity of the light at a distance of 3 meters away from the light source. Feel free to try this problem if you want to. So let's begin with a picture. Let's say this is the light source. And at a distance of 4 meters, the intensity is 800 watts per square meter. What will be the intensity at a distance of 3 meters? As we move closer to the light source, the intensity should increase. So our answer has to be larger than 800. For this particular example, we have to use the formula. So the first intensity value is 800 at a distance of 4 meters. We're trying to find the new intensity value at a distance of 3 meters. So let's write a ratio between I2 and I1. Remember, the intensity is the power divided by the surface area. So it's power over 4 pi r squared. So I2 is going to be P over 4 pi r squared. Now, the light bulb is the same, so we don't need to write P2 and P1 for P. We could just leave it as P because the light bulb is not changing. However, r changes. So i2 is going to be p over 4 pi r2 squared. And i1 will be p over 4 pi r1 squared. So we could cancel p. And thus we're going to get i2 over i1, which is 1 over... We could also cancel 4 pi. So this is 1 over r2 squared divided by 1 over r1 squared. 
multiplying the top and the bottom fraction by r1 squared, we get this formula. i2 over i1 is equal to r1 squared over r2 squared. This right here is the formula that we need to get the answer. So let's go ahead and plug in everything that we know. We're looking for I2. I1 is 800. R1 is 4. Don't forget to square it. R2 is 3. So let's cross multiply. This is going to be 800 times 4 squared. 4 squared being 16 equals I2 times 3 squared. And 3 squared is 9. So the last thing we need to do is divide both sides by 9. So I2 is going to be 800 times 16 divided by 9. And so as a decimal, that's 1,422.2 watts per square meter. So that is the intensity of the light 3 meters away from the source. This is the answer.